All eyes of the market are on NVIDIA this week as the earnings came out strong, but the stock is still dropping. <laughs> Here to talk a little bit more about what's behind all of the market movements on NVIDIA is Weiss Ratings Technology Editor Michael A. Robinson. Thank you so much for joining us here today to break this stock down a little bit. Again, everyone's talking about it today. Why is this earnings report such a big deal that's causing kind of that dip in the market? Everyone's, as you, you just said it yourself, I thought really well, which is everybody, I, if I have a concern about the stock market right now, it has to do with like people who I know don't know that much about investing going, ah, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, it's like, oh my God, you know, if, uh, if, if, if my barber ever says buy NVIDIA, I'm like, yeah, maybe not right now, but no, it's, this is, this is a stock that owns, owns the AI processing space. Right? They can't build these things fast enough. There's this story going on in Silicon Valley that Cisco has these uh, GPUs coming in from NVIDIA, like being delivered in an armored car. I don't know if it's true or not. I just love the story. <laughs> I mean, that's that kind of is a sign of the time. So it's had an outsized impact on the market. So no question everyone's watching it because 30% of the S&P's gains in the first six months of this year came uh, on NVIDIA. Uh, and NVIDIA is now a, a three- plus trillion, uh, a little less than $3 trillion as of today with a dip, but let's just call it a $3 trillion uh, market. And people, I think, are putting too much emphasis on like where AI is going to go based strictly on NVIDIA. It's not the right way to look at it, but you can't control how people look at the world. Uh, I've been saying for some time now that if I have a concern about the market at all right now, even though we're, I'm pretty bullish and the market is really bearing that out, it's that there's too much emphasis on one on, on a single player. And the thing we have to understand with NVIDIA is that at some point it cannot continue to grow its earnings like this quarter, uh, the most recent quarter reporting uh, 152%, let's call it 150% growth in EPS. And what are you, that's like you're growing your, you're growing your per share profits every, you're doubling them every six months. That's pretty phenomenal. But I think what's going on with Wall Street is they're like, there are these whisper earnings that they really, oh, 152. I thought, you know, they didn't project 152, that maybe they thought in their brain it was gonna be 200. So you're dealing with a, a lot of expectations game. I'll take 152% uh, growth in earnings you know, per share any day of the week. <laughs> exactly. It's still a really strong earnings report that would be celebrated just about every other company. So the question is, will investors, will Wall Street ever really be satisfied with any future earnings reports? Because like you said, it's not really sustainable to continue to grow at a rate of almost 300% every quarter. Uh, what will it take for Wall Street to be satisfied with this more steady growth that NVIDIA will no doubt continue to have? Uh, that I can't answer. Uh, they that the Wall Street mentality is one that I don't actually fully understand. <laughs> it's a whole, there's a whole weirdness about that stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, I tend to try to come up on my own conclusions, but I, we can't, we can't get around the fact that Wall Street has an outsized impact on the market in terms of the ratings. And, you know, they play this game, they give it a new price target to go and you know, look at the new price target. It's like three extra dollars a share or something like that to put out a release. Like it's a big deal. But nevertheless, they are looking at AI. I don't know that you can fully please Wall Street. And I think what might actually happen would be if, if earnings kind of earnings growth stays at like 150 or 150 percent a quarter. That's pretty amazing. At some point, it's just not going to grow as fast as that. But they're, they're, I mean, they're selling all they can build. They're, they're, they don't have enough capacity to make it sell more if they could build more. So. That's going to continue for a while. They have a lock. Like I said, they own 90%, more than 90% of the market in this area. They're just killing it. So for you, it sounds like NVIDIA is still a strong buy. Do you expect this stock to continue to be a leader and, and continue to reach new all-time highs in the market? Well, I do think it has the potential to reach all time, uh, reach new highs in the market. I, I'd, I'd like to see, I'd like to see for a few more days of trading. I don't have enough data right now. We're just reacting, uh, not quite in real time, but you know, because they only came out yesterday. But it's early in the, as you and I are talking today. It's still, it's still early in the trading session. We haven't gotten to the close yet. I was just going to look if you don't mind. Yeah, it's popping around. Um, one thing I think is uh, that's healthy about it today, Bridget, is the volume is substantially below its its 50 day moving average so that tells me maybe some people are taking profits but i don't see any panic selling 
Uh, some people may who got in a little bit late, maybe they're up only 25 or 30 percent and they just want to they just want to take those and they're worried. So, but it doesn't look like a, a particularly terrible uh, just by they had they've had worse days in the market and bounced back from those. I'm just going to look here on my chart. There was a day where volume was like 30 percent higher than average and the stock was down like six percent. It's popped back since that time. But as of right now, when we're talking, I, I don't know how the session will end, but. As of right now, the average, uh, the number of shares trading hands around 255 million, and it has been around 339 million dollars trading hand. I'm, I'm sorry, shares trading hands every day. So I like to see a stock retreat on lower volume. That tells me that the uh, bears aren't even close to getting control of this stock. Doesn't mean we won't have a couple of more tough sessions ahead, but as of right now. The bears are not moving out with conviction. Well, thank you so much for that analysis, Michael. I appreciate you again. Michael A. Robinson with Rice Ratings joining us here on Market Beats to break down the stock that everyone is talking about. We'll continue to follow NVIDIA and everything that happens from now and on right here at Market Beat. Thanks for joining us and happy investing.